Right then, welcome back to Iron Sports. We have with us in studio head coach of the Reggae Boys, uh, Theodore Tapper Whitmore. As we look towards, uh, of course, the Reggae Boys looking to advance to Tier 1 of the Nations League and the uh, World Cup qualifiers for 2022 come up in uh, March, 2020, March 2020, thereabouts. Yeah, right. Um, coach, we were looking before the break. Um, you spoke of the need to improve the technical staff um, and, and that funding has, has always been an issue. Um, the JFF, for instance, they've expressed that um, they need about $2 million to maintain yes. the program. Um, what are your thoughts on, on how, um, where funding is and what's being done to, to garner the necessary funding, you think? Well, I think um, there's a lot more to be done. You know, um, it, we're, we're reaching a crucial point in, in the program now. And um, as I said before, all stakeholders should have all hands on deck, you know, in terms of um, where we want to go, or where, we want, where we see see this program now we are, we, are, we are 45 in the ranking and it's going to be important consistency you know and how we maintain you know and we have to take a lot of thing, things into consideration right. you know so um, funding is a key element at this point yeah. there's a lot of things uh, uh, and, uh, uh, and we keep saying this and we don't want to to find to make any excuses but um, we think um the way we are operating now, going into next year, it, it, it can't be the same. You know, we need we need some simple things. It, it might sound simple, but we, we need to check our players. It we need to tape in our, our session. Again, it, it, it can't be a training session finished now. And I'm saying to Jeremy, Jeremy, this is a, what what you keep doing on the field. Where is the proof? No, it's for us now to sit down as a technical team where we can cut and do everything and come and show Jeremy and say, Jeremy, this is not any word I'm out. Right. This is what you keep doing. But I can come here and talk to Jeremy and all, all I want and Jeremy must believe because Jeremy and go say, but coach, that now um, right. Where's the proof? Right. So, so some simple little things. So right. the direction for 2020, it, it can't be the same. Mm -hmm. These objectives are, have to meet Jeremy. You must improve the 2020 mm -hmm. vision, right? Must improve. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, speaking of the team, um, you, you've pointed out in the past there are particular areas within the team that, that you're working to, to strengthen. Right. Um, elaborate a bit more on this and, and do you think you are meeting this, this, this objective of yours? Well, again, as I said before, um, he, we mentioned the last Gold Cup we, we played, you know, when a Damien Lowe was out, it was like a makeshift. Tomorrow, we lose a Alvas Powell. Who is the next right back? Right. So we have to make shift again. A Kemar Lawrence. We have a, a, a Sean Francis. But we'd like to see a younger one stepping up out of the rank. And, and Jeremy, to be honest with you, one of the things what I find as a coach is that um, our players are not pushing. I think. Probably they come to camp or they feel like, boy, well, the coach have him team already or I don't know what going through the head, but they're not they, they, I don't think they come with the, the enthusiasm that they want to push right. for that spot. You right. know, and again, they can't blame the coach because ninety first ninety five percent of the players that I've been working with is our local players that play in our Premier League, Premier League back in Jamaica. Yeah. And, and, and speaking of uh, the Premier League and local players, a few months ago uh, you mentioned that the fitness of the players you see in the Premier League is, is of great concern to you. Right. Since then, have you seen any move towards improving this? Have you seen players coming to you with improved fitness? Yes, um, I, 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 I must come in um, our local coaches where that is concerned. And, and, and one of the things, Jeremy, is that Every month, we try to have a, a coaches forum. Even yesterday, we had one, you know, because um, I don't want the coaches to feel like the program belongs to Tapa or the program belongs to Ricky Sarwin, you right. know. It's for all of us. Right. And they are the one of the players, week in, week out. Right. So it's for us now to bring it to them, to tell them, listen to me, listen, the players are not stepping up. 
we need. And, and, and to be honest, you, you, you started to see a, a, a improvement where that is concerned. Mm 